join the team. Hey, this is the McGuire Review, and we're going to take a look at another month of Dungeon Crate. So this is the month of February 2020. If you are interested in any of the prior that we've done, we've been doing uh, Dungeon Crate for about a year now. So there are quite a few Dungeon Crate videos I've got on the channel. If you're really interested in this and you just see this one, you can go look at those. I'll have the playlist linked at the end of this video where you can dive through a year's worth of Dungeon Crate. And you can, you know, assess that for yourself and decide if it's something that would interest you and if it's worth it for you. I think it definitely is. You get a ton of value in this little box every month. Okay, so let's get into February here. Yeah, I have not opened uh, this box just yet, so I don't know what's in here. I like to have these... Oh, hang on. There's something different about this one. Um... It's signed. Wow, this is cool. I wonder if everybody got this. Um, yeah, it's definitely, this is February 2020. So mine is all signed here in the lid. That's definitely the first time that I've seen, I've seen that. So I will definitely be keeping this, this particular box. Um, I generally do keep all these boxes because they are, it, it is a really cool box and you can, it's got little areas where you can write on it there, which I like. And I, I, you know, I have a box where I keep all of the one shots. I have a box where I keep all of the campaign based material. I have a box where I keep all of the little, you know, different, um, RPG playing bits. If it's like spider webs or firewalls or, or whatever might be in there, I have a box for that as well. So this is pretty awesome. Look at this, stay awesome, the Dungeon Crate crew. So check your February crate if you if you already get Dungeon Crate. Uh, open that up, see if that's there for you as well. Okay, quick change out, and we are back to the unboxing. Okay, February crate. We've got our um, our top um, tab here that gives us everything that's going to be in the crate. I'm not going to go through everything about this crate in every video. There is a ton of extra stuff behind the scenes with the digital version of things that you get with this crate so if you're interested in all that please go back and watch the other uh, unboxings of dungeon crate with a lot more information on what actually comes to you behind the scenes with your dungeon crate code so a lot of extra cool stuff but this is everything we're going to get in this crate so we'll set it here and again as always there is a um, like a picture on the back side of there that after you get all of them you can kind of put them together and this one is um, kind of like a tavern, like looking down on a tavern, which is pretty cool. I really like that. I will definitely use that. So just kind of a way to double use these, you know, basically the piece just tells you what you get in the crate, which most just use a piece of paper. This is nice, you know, encoded and you, it has kind of a double use there. So that's pretty awesome. And then, uh, two really cool, um, little excursion adventures, the lost world of Black Rock and the ruined temple of Turgawa. I believe these both look really cool. Uh, I love this. Uh, the Lost World of Black Rock looks like it's got some T Rexes and some dinosaurs and different things. So that's pretty awesome. You're gonna see those in these crates, and then they're really they're doing this. Um, they kind of wrap it here in this paper. I think this is nice. It does give the the box a nice touch. Makes it feel a little fancier than just everything thrown in the standard cardboard box. So I really like that they're doing this. And uh, they have been doing that uh, regularly now so this is marked bonus on it um, and bonus on the back i assume everyone got this as well and it's a dark havens uh miniature here looks like a female uh cleric maybe it's possibly a mage but i think it's a, a female cleric really nice little sculpt there this is a metal sculpt as well so that's cool i haven't seen a metal one in a while then we've got the items that come with our two different adventure shots here uh, and you'll see those different items. We've got a really cool, like, necklace. And, again, these are awesome. I mean, you can reuse these. You know, obviously they go with, with these, but you can reuse these for about anything and pass these out to players and, and have really cool items that you can use uh, in the game. If you don't want to just write down on a piece of paper what an item is, you, you know, because normally that's what you would do. You would write on a piece of paper or you would have, like, a special D&D &D card but if there's something special like this, you do have these cards. I love that they put these in. Here we got a, a T-Rex baddie that we're going to have to fight and all. The, the stats will be on the back. These are awesome. Another awesome item there. Some, some gauntlets. 
the gauntlets of gorilla strength. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, and then another uh, probably enemy here, which is the gorilla king. Pretty awesome. Okay, so there's those. And it looks like we got quite a few other little um, items this time. Oh, awesome. Clever girls. So this is a little pack of um, velociraptors. How cool is that? So you can put those together and uh, have those go right with your uh, adventure. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Nice. And this is the kind of neat stuff that you'll find uh, in these. And they really do high function. Like on the back of just this card for it, there's actually a little uh, player, little tiny little player sheet that you can use for travel, which is pretty neat. But it's this kind of cool stuff you get in these crates all the time. I would say over the course of a year now, I've got so much of these little uh, things that I can be used in, in campaigns. Really cool. Uh, awesome. Here's a raft. So this is a... Uh, Reaper blown, uh, blowns. Uh, Reaper Bones Black Fantasy. It is a raft uh, sculpt, and it's just one piece, simple, simple little like raft. Um, that's really neat. You you can use that for a lot of different things. I probably will use that in uh, nautical adventures and whatnot. That's really cool. I don't have anything like that. Uh, and then this here, this here is super awesome. Uh, I've never seen this one. It's the Avatar of a uh, horror gorilla and it's a gorilla this is a, a dark haven bones reaper miniature it is one piece other than the helmet there the helm that the gorilla wears which is uh, a dinosaur helm i'm going to get this one actually out of the package because it's such a cool sculpt uh, just so awesome we'll get that out of the way and you can see there you've got the um you've got the big gorilla king and that's going to go right along with our um our ruined temple of uh, Turgawa there, and you'll be able to use that miniature. And then here is the helm with the kind of the T-Rex um, helm that goes on top there. Ah, oh, that is that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. I love that. That might be one of the coolest miniatures they've included uh, in the crates so far. I don't know. The... the uh, the Dwarven King one was pretty cool. That they had a whole throne with a with a Dwarven King sitting on it, and a little flag post, and he was holding this axe. That was a really really cool one. But I love this miniature. This is awesome. Um, what, okay, so this is a Dungeon Crate pencil. I believe they had a pencil. Well, they've also included a pen for this month. Uh, they've done these in a few different colors. I have a few of these now, uh, and he, just like a marker pen that's included here. Uh, but these pencils are pretty awesome. I think they've done a pencil in the past, if I can remember correctly, but I don't remember one that was black with the gold lettering like that. And this is really cool. I like the look of this. I love having these just standard number two pencils laying around because anytime that I do play uh, RPGs, uh, whether I'm DMing or playing as a player, uh, I always like to have a standard number two pencil. I, I don't know. That's just how I roll. I, I, like, to, I like to have the pencil um what is this okay there's a little baggie okay it's definitely not dice let's see what we got here oh yes pirate coin well i don't know if it's pirate coin but um it's definitely coin that can be used in your rpg games two kind of standard uh, bronze kind of looking pieces there and then one really shiny gold piece here they do have different emblems on on them which is pretty awesome. They're all three completely different. This has got kind of a hippogriff or something on the back, a, a griffin of some some sort. And then this has a extremely muscular, I wanted to say minotaur, but it's not a minotaur. It's got like a dog head and a kind of a human-esque kind of, it looks like a really big muscular werewolf holding a sword. Um, it says 20 on the back with um, like a different symbols, almost like a language all the way around the outside. Um, this one's got like a symbol, like a big crystal in the middle with, with just like language symbols all the way around it. This one has a head of what looks to be maybe a king. He's wearing a crown. Um, and on the back side, uh, again, some, some different symbols and, and letters that's representing like another language. So these are really, really cool. I will definitely put those to use 
Um, and it's this kind of cool stuff that you get in, in these crates from Dungeon Crate on a monthly basis where there's just lots of different reusable cool stuff. And this is why I, I, they really are the best. Um, they really are the best crate in, in, with within this genre of crates. I, I have not... I haven't seen better. I haven't experienced better. The, the Dungeon Crate is really... They really nail it. Okay, here is the last thing, I believe. Yes, unless there's something hidden now. Um, that would be cool. Why don't you hide, you know, hide something under there? But maybe someone would throw it away. Who knows? Um, here's the last thing, which is this pad of paper. And this is a very important pad of paper because uh, that's interesting. Earlier we were talking about the items. Like sometimes you would write down. You see this on Critical Role all the time. People getting special items or or whatever. And, and, and Matt will hand a piece of paper to somebody. It's generally a lot of times how you do it. Um, if it is a brand new magical item or something that isn't already represented um, with a card, uh, you can use this pad of paper right here to do this. Even if it is a standard D&D item you can put the item name item type the rarity you can draw a little image on here you can do the atonement as well as the value of its worth and the item description and you can put all that here on the paper fold that up and hand it to a player if they're discovering um, kind of a new item that other players may not know what they necessarily have uh, or if it's an item that you just call out and you can hand to the players so this is pretty cool i will definitely use this um, this is really neat that they included this that is awesome Okay, that is everything for the month of February, which was my birthday month. So um, I would say it's a pretty good birthday month crate. There was a lot of awesome uh, pieces in this particular one. And the fact of um, how this was uh, signed here uh, by the Dungeon Crate crew. That's pretty awesome. Um, that was pretty neat that that was done as well. So that's it, team. The February 2020 Dungeon Crate unboxing. Um, we will be doing the probably the next unboxing. We're probably going to do two to three months uh, with everything that's going on right now across the world. I am not running to uh, go anywhere outside of my house. Um, so it's probably going to be a while before I do pick up the other crates. So with that said, uh, I would say that our next viewing will probably be uh, a couple months, if not three uh, and again, that is something that we've done quite a few times on the channel, doing the double and the triple unboxings, which I do like to do because it allows everybody to see the consistent quality amongst the crates all in one video, all in one shot versus having to watch you know video after video after video. Um, definitely makes it easier for you, uh, team, as, as the consumers of that content. And, and I think it's fun to kind of spread it all out and you can really see the consistency that you're getting and the value that you're getting with this particular crate. Again, tons of other stuff behind the scenes from the digital code, so check that out as well. All right, so click that like, hit the subscribe below to join the team. Keep rolling them crits. This has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time, Bear. Let's roll.